In this Easy Ed video lecture, we will learn about work, power and energy, its introduction, units of energy, conversion of energy from one form to another, heating effect of electric current and calculation cost of electricity. Let's start with the introduction first. In our day-to-day -day life, we come across many examples of energy and its different forms. For example, bulb is an example of light energy, car is an example of mechanical energy, etc. This gives us the definition of energy as the ability to do the work. As per the definition, the unit of energy and work is the same, thus the unit of energy is joules, represented by capital J. Hey, it's time to concentrate now. Let's study the conversion of energy from one form to another. Law of conservation of energy states that energy is always transferred from one form to another. Let's see an example now. First type is conversion of electrical energy to thermal energy. There are certain devices which convert the electrical energy into thermal energy. The common examples are electrical kettle, soldering gun, electric iron, etc. Exactly opposite conversion is also possible, that is, thermal energy to electrical energy. A very common example of this conversion type is thermocouple. A thermocouple circuit is formed when two dissimilar metals are joined at both ends and there is a difference in temperature between the two ends. This difference in temperature creates a small current and is called the Seebach effect after Thomas Seebach who discovered this phenomenon in 1821. Third conversion type is electrical energy into mechanical energy and its example is an electric motor which works on the principle of electromagnetic induction. Fourth conversion is mechanical energy to electrical energy and its example is an electric generator which also works on the principle of electromagnetic induction. Now let's study the heating effect of electric current. Every metallic conductor has free electrons available for the conduction of a current. When voltage is applied across a conductor, these free electrons start their motion towards positive terminal of a voltage source constituting the flow of a current. These moving electrons collide with the atoms of the metal. At each collision, a part of kinetic energy of electron gets converted into heat and slowly the temperature of the conductor begins to rise. Thus, the production of heat energy in a conductor by the electric current flowing through it is called the heating effect of the electric current. Seriously, pay attention. This is important. Let's find the mathematical equation for the heat produced in a metal. Let V be the potential difference applied between two terminals of a conductor of resistance R. By Ohm's law, I equals V upon R. If this current I flows through a conductor for time T, then the charge is given as Q equals I into T. The work done is the product of potential difference into charge. Substituting V equals I into R and Q equals I into T we get W equals I into R into I into T equals I square R into T. This work done is calculated in joules. When the current flows through a conductor, this work done is converted into heat. This heat is measured in calories. The relation between joules and calories is 1 calorie equals 4.18 joules. Thus H equals W in joules and W equals 4.18 in calories. Substituting the value of W, H equals I square RT upon 4.18, where H equals heat produced in calories. The examples of heating effect of electric current are electric iron, electric toaster, etc. Now let's see some basic definitions. Mass. The matter possessed by a body is called as mass. Its SI unit is kilograms. Velocity. Velocity is defined as displacement of a body per unit time. Its SI unit is meter per second. 
Acceleration. It is defined as the rate of change of velocity. Its SI unit is meter per second square. Work. When any force is applied on a body, it displaces from its original position. Work is defined as the product of force and displacement. W equals F into D. SI unit of work is joules or newton meter. Power. Power is defined as the work done per unit time. P equals W by T. SI unit of power is joules per second. Joules law. Joules law states that the electrical energy spent is equal to the amount of heat energy produced. The heat is produced due to the current flowing through a material. Electrical energy expanded equals heat produced. Thus, V into I into T equals I square R into T equals V square upon R into T. Thus, heat energy equals V into I into T. Calories. One calorie is the amount of heat energy required to raise the temperature of one gram of water through one degree Celsius. The energy is measured in joules and the thermal energy is measured in calories. The relationship between joule and calorie is one calorie equals 4.1869 joules. Also, 1 kWh equals 3.6 into 10 raised to 6 joules equals 860 kilocalories. Heat capacity. The amount of heat required to produce a given temperature rise in a given mass is dependent on the material used. The heat capacity of a body is defined as the ratio of the amount of heat supplied to the corresponding rise in temperature. Hence, heat capacity equals Q upon T2 minus T1, where Q equals heat supplied in joules and T2 minus T1 equals change in temperature. Specific heat, S. It is defined as the heat capacity of a body per unit mass. If mass of the body is M, then its heat capacity is given as S equals M into Q upon T2 minus T1. Thus, heat supplied can be written as Q equals M into S into T2 minus T1. Let's learn the concept of energy consumption. We know that energy is given as energy equals power into time. The consumption of energy is calculated in watts for per hour use of a device. Following table illustrates the energy consumed by some commonly used household appliances. Please note that all examples given below illustrate average energy consumed and not the exact figures. Next concept is the calculation of cost of electricity. To calculate the cost of energy consumed, each device's consumption is analyzed for a duration of one hour. Based on the rate of electricity decided for per unit, the cost of electricity consumed is calculated as cost equals rate per unit into energy consumed by a device for one hour. The electricity consumed by each device is calculated in kilowatts. For example, if a microwave of 1000 watts or 1 kilowatt is kept on for 3 hours, the electricity consumed by that microwave becomes energy consumed equals power in kilowatts into time in hours equals 1 into 3 equals 3 kilowatt hours. If the cost for one unit of energy is rupees 5, then the total cost of electricity consumed becomes cost of electricity consumed equals cost per unit into kWh equal to 5 into 3 equals rupees 15. The tariff rates for industrial establishments are higher than the tariff rates for residential establishments. Consider an example now. 
how long will it take to raise the temperature of 500 grams of water from 20 degrees Celsius to the boiling point. The heater takes a current of 5 amperes at 200 volts and its current efficiency is 90%. Assume S is equal to 4190 joules per kilo kelvins. We have mass M equals 500 grams equals 0 0.5 kgs. T1 equals 20 degrees Celsius and T2 equals 100 degrees Celsius. Voltage is equal to 200 volts and current equals 5 amperes. We need to find the time T. For that, we use formulae H equals M into S into T2 minus T1. E equals H upon neta and E equals V into I into T. Let's see the solution now. We first find heat energy using the given formulae. Substituting the given values, we get the value of H as 167,600 joules. Next, we find the electrical energy by the formula E equals H upon neta. On putting the given values, we get E equals 186222.22 joules. To find time, we use relation E equals V into I into T. Putting the values of EV and I, we get the required answer as T equals 186,022 seconds or T equals 3.10 minutes. Let's take a quick review of what we have learned in this lecture. Energy is defined as the ability to do work. Its unit is same as work which is joules. We have also seen different types of energy conversions such as electrical energy to thermal energy, thermal energy to electrical energy, electrical energy to mechanical energy and mechanical energy to electrical energy. Next, we learnt about heating effect of an electric current. The production of heat energy in a conductor by the electric current flowing through it is called as the heating effect of an electric current. The mathematical equation for heat produced is H equals I square RT upon 4.18 joules. The common examples of heating effect of an electric current are electric iron, electric toaster, etc. After that, we learned the basic terms and their SI units related to work, power and energy as shown in the table. Next, we studied about the energy consumption. The consumption of energy is calculated in watts per hour use of a device. The energy consumed by some household appliances is as shown in the table. Lastly, we studied about the calculation of cost of electricity, where we saw an example. A microwave of 1000 watts power, when used for 3 hours, consumes total energy of 3 kilowatt hours and according to rupees 5 per unit, it costs 3 into 5 equals rupees 15.